emergency boat and we attached it to the bottom of this cooler. Basically what you'd use this for is um, you'd drive it from like boat to boat if you were on a lake or you could drive it across a pool. This thing actually moves pretty fast so if you stuck it in like Rose Pond you could probably drive it around pretty quickly. Um, we also have sensors here that tell you how much um, is in your cooler. So as you start to take um, drinks out, I don't know if you guys can see, it turns yellow. And then as there's no drinks, we see red. So you can tell exactly how much is in your cooler at all times. And then I'm going to have Nick turn on my water because there's a bit of a splash zone. And then the baby, so. So the electric motor that we took out uh, it was actually a very, very large motor. Um, so this will go very, very fast. It doesn't seem like it. So, and another problem we encountered is uh, as soon as you plug the battery into the motor, the motor turns on, which is why we have a switch mechanism right here. So we got a faulty boat motor when we ordered it from Amazon. Basically, when we went online, there was a lot of blog posts about how there was a lot of issues with the speed controls on this specific model. So if we were to do this again, we definitely would get a different boat motor. Ideally, we would just start with a regular boat motor kit and ignore the whole disassembly of the boat in the first place. But aside from that, I mean, like everything in the code works, works pretty well. We ran into a little bit of issues with just waterproofing, making sure that everything was sealed tight. But other than that, I mean, the only thing not waterproof is the paint, as you can see, it's melting. <laughs>